Before we begin our course, there is something that you must know as a beginner. You can work in any field and you can still come to this data field. We always design our courses that anybody can come to the data field and can make their career. So that's why I always put some information that is going to be very much helpful for you. First of all, what is data? That is the very basic question that you should ask yourself before jumping into any topic, tools, technology or anything else. Data is nothing but raw facts, numbers, text images, videos, sounds that are collected and stored. Whatever you see or whatever you listen around you is all about data. Whenever you are using your mobile phone, your TV, or maybe you are walking, everywhere the data is going to be there. And that's the reason that your smart watches or phones records your steps, because it's a data. Data is unprocessed and lacks context on its own. That means if we talked about the raw data, it's a form which is not in any form. It's not structured. You cannot get any information out of it. And that is ideally, if you will look at it, it's not usable. You have to transform it. And that process is known as the information. Information is derived from a data through processing, organization and contextualization. It provides meaning and answers your questions. For example, if you want to track the sales amount for a particular region, you want to see that how many stores are around you, which store is selling at the cheapest price, etc. That is the information that you get out of that data. And now the last part comes, what is business intelligence? Well, in very short or limited language, if I'm going to talk about the business intelligence, it's nothing but how to make your business intelligence enough so that you can take your decisions based on that. And what does that mean? Well, guys, for example, you are running a gym and in the gym, you would like to see that what kind of equipment do you need it, what equipment, what equipment are there that's going to need repair or how many people are coming, whether you are going in a loss or profit, that kind of decisions you need to take in order to sustain or maybe if you want to get more benefit out of it. So how you are going to get it? Well, for that, you should have a record of everything and record is nothing but a data. Then you need to process it to get the information. And that's how we take the intelligent decisions out of it. So you can read it more information over here, but I'm going to let you know each and every place that how we are going to help you to make your career not in not only in the data field, but in your personal life. Also, if you would like to apply these tools and technologies, then how you can do it. If you know, we are already performing all the BI or business intelligence tasks on daily basis. For example, what happened? What was your total budget of the last month? How much you're going to get it now? Nowadays, even on your mobile banking apps, you can see that it's going to predict you the futures or you can also check your budgeting. What is happening? Like are our sales going up or down? Their trend analysis, etc. Or maybe in some any other form, you want to check what's happening with your business. Now, next question comes, why? Why it's happening? What are the factors involved into this that you would get to know? Last two would be like what will happen in the future if the trend goes on or what would be the forecast, etc. that you would get over there. And the last would be what do I want to happen? That means how you can plan and make targets. That's all our sort of BI or business intelligence related tasks on your daily basis.